<laughs> What's going on guys, man over here, Lethal Garage. It's busy. We're doing legit Lethal Garage today. And uh, today, I'm gonna show you how to remove the front bumper. Now, yes, I've done this a couple times in a couple videos, but I think there's more people out there wondering how to remove the front bumper for miscellaneous reasons. Maybe you're doing a different wire harness, maybe you're putting a different grill, or maybe you need to pull aspects out of your grill out because maybe you ran over something. This video is for you, it's super easy. Anybody could do it and you only need a couple tools. So let's get to it. We already have the car jacked up on stands and the wheels taken off. Uh, this is the easiest way to do it. You can take off the front grill without taking off your wheels. You just have to crank your steering wheel one way and then the other so you can get to everything. The problem is my car has the ZL1 add-ons front um, splitter with the fender extensions. So they are hiding the bolts to get to and there's it's just a lot more to deal with. So typical people won't have to deal with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that quickly and not really walk you through how that comes off. And then I'll walk you through the stock parts and pieces because uh, I don't think many people have my setup. So let's do that. <laughs> So in between this removal, Korean barbecue. If you cheat, buy rice fat. If you cheat. <laughs> okay, I removed the Z01 add-on parts. Again, I had the bottom splitter, the fender extensions, that's all been taken off. So now it's the basis of taking the lower grill because to take the whole front of the grill off, there is a plate underneath. It's smooth, there's a whole bunch of bolts there. I'll show you them in a second. And then there is one, two, three, four bolts here with a single bolt here that has to be removed. And then you have all of these screws up top. So you have two pop clips and then a screw, screw, screw. And I believe these are 15 Torx. I don't know, we'll see. We'll do it, let's do it. So there's a couple things. If you have a splitter on your car, the GM splitter or any other aftermarket, they typically screw on. So there's gonna be 12 bolts along the edge that we have to remove. We don't need to remove these. Technically, you could remove all these bolts underneath here, and it would actually help your front end stand upright when you pull it off, because it actually supports it, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna pull the splitter off, and then there's a couple bolts in the front that detach this plastic from the front grill. And since I'm dissecting this whole front grill because I'm gonna be having it painted, we're gonna go that route. So let's start dissecting. What can I do to make you we remove the lower splitter, all the bolts are removed. So if you don't have the lower splitter, the bolts are just in the colored plastic piece. Um, but now we need to detach the wheel liner. There's a couple T15s that you gotta remove and that just pulls the wheel liner out. Now there is one that will typically be here. Mine's already missing because I had the Z01 front fender extensions and there'll be one up, I can't see it right here as well. So my finger's right there. Uh, you'll need to remove all those bolts. And that just pulls the inner liner from the fender and it's already detached from down here so we don't have to worry about it. And this will also let you get to this bolt right in here that we have to pull. So there's just this first bolt right here that holds the edge of this fender to the top of the metal fender. 930 seconds. I believe it's actually metric, but the 930 seconds works. Uh, but we use this to pull the bolts down below. Sorry, I didn't highlight that before I actually remove them. But we'll also use this to pull the one bolt on the clip. And we'll see if Adrian here, who's helping me as a cameraman. Pull that one bolt. And that separates this from there. Yay. Now let's go to the other side. So we have to pull this, the fender liner back so you can see the bolts right in here that we have to pull to detach the front fascia from the car. I have a couple extensions that I'm using along again with the 930 seconds bit to pull these bolts out. So I'm gonna try to get up in here. And just pull these out. The first two, you can use a long extension, but there's a couple way up there that you may have to use a ratchet for. <laughs> I 
I was like, wait a minute, Greg with tools? You mean when you sent LTV? Greg with tools? What? Why is this? Oh, it's coming. Okay. Sorry. Now do the other side. Okay. So there's only a few things that we have to do. We have to take the bolts off the upper side and we have to unplug the wire harness, but I'm gonna do these first. Bye. And there is these push pins that we have to pull out too, but. I hate these tree clips. I hate them. I can't race for David. I just sit here and spin. Yeah. I, I got no traction whatsoever. I don't know if you've seen my tires. It's not happening. It's not I could, I would probably, from a dig, I would probably lose to a V6 because they would be gone by the time I got traction and moving forward. How do you think I'm going to be a baby throw? Yeah. <laughs> He's still a little bit of a sneak up on him. One more of the year. I'll pull the drag. Okay, so who wants to reach in there and get that wire harness? Here. Where's it coming in at? It's right here. Oh, I got you. So right in here, there's a wire harness. You got to pull the plastic safety clip. This one's going to be worse. Look, it's like twisted. <sighs> Come on, safety clip. What is your deal? Oh yeah? There it goes. Did you get it? Yeah. I'll push down, you pull. There we go. Perfect. Is that Billy? Is it red? Hold on. Yeah? I saw that post. Hey, Bill Pop. Oh, I feel like I cheated on my girlfriend. Oh, guys! We have converted a Mustang owner. It was a beautiful Mustang. Thank you. And he still has it. Actually, but it's, it's in my pocket. It's a, oh. <laughs> I brought it with me. I want to welcome Bill. What's your, what's your Instagram now? Oh, I didn't make it. We're going to have decide like, one tonight. We'll figure it out. I'll okay. post it in the description down below. Okay. He now has a 2018 SS1LE. Welcome to family, man. Thank you, brother. I'm no longer parking down the street. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> The front bumper is now completely off the car and uh, it's the highest bidder. No, I'm kidding. Um, so as you guys know, I'm well, maybe you don't know, I'm taking my car to get a lot of the pieces repainted and redone. Um, but in this instance, that's how you pull it off. And to put it on, you literally just do it the exact same way. Super easy to do. It's awesome. And look at this beautiful, brand new 2018 1LE. Pretty. But. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, issues, post them down below. I will respond and help you if I can. Uh, likes, comments, shares are appreciated. Hit that subscribe button as always. But until next time, guys, hope to see you on the road. Did you record that whole time? Is that yeah. what you were doing? Hi. Um, oh, here. Oh, thank you. I'm going to take the car back. <laughs> what color? Oh, the red. Yeah. Dude, the red looks so good. Are you you've been recording? <laughs> okay. You know, passing a V8 bitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes I am. Yes I am. I like the V8? Yeah. Yeah. There's a fifth gen V8 right there. That's a ZL1. What are you talking about? That is a fifth gen V8. SS. There's two SS's right here. Well, let's do it. You know I'm down. You heard it. I need proof. Did you hear this guy? What happened? He thinks it's V6, 6 10 special in our cars. I'm not. I'm on the 85. The 85 cold air intake saying they're catching. Adrian, stop. Just what? stop. That's it, but I, I am.